Hey everybody, today is April 4th, 2021. Today is also Easter Sunday. And so today we'll be reading Deuteronomy 9 and 10, Luke chapter 14, Psalm 87, and Proverbs 13 and 12. <clears throat> so let's jump in. To Deuteronomy chapters 9 and 10. Hear, O Israel, you are to cross over the Jordan today, to go in to dispossess nations greater and mightier than you, cities great and fortified up to heaven, a people great and tall, the sons of Anakim, whom you know and whom you have heard it said, who can stand before the sons of Anak? Know therefore today that he who goes over before you as a consuming fire is the Lord your God. He will destroy them and subdue them before you. So you shall drive them out and make them perish quickly, as the Lord has promised you. Do not say in your heart, after the Lord your God has thrust them out before you, it is because of my righteousness that the Lord has brought me into this into possess this land. Whereas it has become of, whereas it is because of the wickedness of these nations that the Lord is driving them out before you. Not because of your righteousness or the uprightness of your heart are you going in to possess their land, but because of the wickedness of these nations, the Lord your God is driving them out from before you, that he may confirm the word that the Lord swore to your fathers, to Abraham, to Isaac, and to Jacob. Know therefore that the Lord your God is not giving you this good land to possess because of your righteousness, for you are a stubborn people. Remember and do not forget how you provoked the Lord your God to wrath in the wilderness. From the day you came out of the land of Egypt until you came into this place, you have been rebellious against the Lord. Even at Horeb you provoked the Lord to wrath, and the Lord was so angry with you that he was ready to destroy you. When I went up to the mountain to receive the tablets of stone, the tablets of the covenant that the Lord made with you, I remained on the mountain forty days and forty nights. I neither ate bread nor drank water and the Lord gave me two ta the two tablets of stone written with the finger of God and on them were all the words that the Lord had spoken with you on the mountain out of the midst of the fire on the day of the assembly and at the end of 40 days and 40 nights the Lord gave me the two tablets of stone the tablets of the covenant then the Lord said to me arise go quickly down from here for your people whom you have brought from Egypt have acted corruptly. They have turned aside quickly out of the way that I commanded them. They have made themselves a metal image. Furthermore, the Lord said to me, I have seen this people, and behold, it is a stubborn people. Let me alone, that I may destroy them and blot out their name from under heaven. And I will make of you a nation mightier and greater than they. So I turned and came down from the mountain, and the mountain was burning with fire. And the two tablets of the covenant were in my two hands. <clears throat> and I looked, and behold, you had sinned against the Lord your God. You had made yourselves a golden calf. You had turned aside quickly from the way that the Lord had commanded you. So I took hold of the two tablets and threw them out of my hands and broke them before your eyes. Then I lay prostrate before the Lord as before. Forty days and forty nights, I neither ate bread nor drank water because of all the sin that you had committed in doing what was evil in the sight of the Lord to provoke him to anger. For I was afraid of the anger and the hot displeasure that the Lord bore against you, so that he was ready to destroy you. But the Lord listened to me that time also. And the Lord was so angry with Aaron that he was ready to destroy him. And I prayed for Aaron also at that time. Then I took the sinful thing, the calf that you had made, and burned it with fire, and crushed it, grinding it very small, until it was as fine as dust. And I threw the dust of it into the brook that ran down from the mountain. At Taborah also, and at, Ma at Massa, and at Kibroth Hatava, you provoked the Lord to wrath. And when the Lord sent to you from Kad Kadesh Barnea, saying, Go up and take the possession of the land that I have given you, then you rebelled against the commandment of the Lord your God and did not believe him or obey his voice. You have been rebellious against the Lord from the day that I knew you. 
So I lay prostrate before the Lord for these 40 days and 40 nights, because the Lord had said he would destroy you. And I prayed to the Lord, O Lord God, do not destroy your people and your heritage, whom you have redeemed through, the, through your greatness, whom you have brought out of Egypt with a mighty hand. Remember your servants, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Do not regard the stubbornness of this people or their, wicked, or the, their wickedness uh, or their sin, lest the land from which you brought us say, because the Lord was not able to bring them into the land that he promised them, and because he hated them, he has brought them out to put them to death in the wilderness. For they are your people and your heritage, whom you brought out by your great power and by your outstretched arm. At that time, the Lord said to me, Cut for yourself two tablets of stone like the first, and come up to me on the mountain and make, the, make an ark of wood. And I will write on the tablets the words that were on the first tablets that you broke, and you shall put them in the ark. So I made an ark of acacia wood, and cut two tablets of stone like those in, like the first, and went up the mountain with the two tablets in my hand. And he wrote on the tablets, in the same writing as before, the Ten Commandments, that the Lord had spoken to you on the mountain out of the midst of the fire on the day of the assembly. And the Lord gave them to me. Then I turned down and came from the mountain and pulled and put the tablets in the ark that I had made. And there they are, as the Lord commanded me. The people of Israel journeyed from Beeroth ben Jakan to Maserath. There Aaron died, and there he was buried. And his son Eleazar ministered as priest in his place. From there they journeyed to Gudgoda, and from Gudgoda to Jatpatha, a land with brooks of water. At that time, the Lord set apart the tribe of Levi to carry the Ark of the Covenant of the Lord, to stand before the Lord, to minister to him and to bless his, in his name to this day. Therefore Levi, who has no portion or inheritance with his brothers, therefore Levi has no portion or inheritance with his brothers. The Lord is his, is his inheritance, as the Lord your God said to him. I myself stayed on the mountain, as at the first time, forty days and forty nights, and the Lord listened to me that time also. The Lord was unwilling to destroy you, and the Lord said to me, Arise, go on your journey at the head of the people, so that they may go in and possess the land which I swore to their fathers to give them. And now, Israel, what does the Lord your God require of you but to fear the Lord your God, to walk in, his, in all his ways, to love him, to serve the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul, and to keep the commandments and statutes of the Lord, which I am commanding you today for your good. Behold, to the Lord your God, your God belong heaven and the heaven of heavens, the earth with all that is in it. Yet the Lord set his heart in love on your fathers, and chose their offsprings after them. You above all people as you are this day. Circumcise therefore the foreskin of your heart, and be no longer stubborn. For the Lord your God is good of is God of gods, and Lord of lords, the great, the mighty, and the awesome God, who is not partial and takes no bribe. He executes justice for the fatherless and the widow, and loves the sojourner giving him food and clothing. Love the sojourner, therefore, for you are sojourners in the land of Egypt. You shall, there, you shall fear the Lord your God. You shall serve him and hold fast to him, and by his name you shall swear. He is your praise, he is your God, who has done for you these great and terrifying things that your eyes have seen. Your fathers went down to Egypt, seventy persons, and now the Lord your God has made you as numerous as the stars of heaven. Luke chapter 14. One Sabbath, when he went in to dine at the house of a ruler of the Pharisees, they were watching him carefully. And behold, there was a man before him who had, who had dropsy. And Jesus responded to the lawyers and Pharisees, saying, Is it lawful to heal on the Sabbath or not? But they remained silent. Then he took him and healed him and sent him on his way. And he said to them, which of you, having a son or an ox that has fallen, has fallen into a well on the Sabbath day, will not immediately pull him out? And they could not reply to these things. 
Now he told a parable to those who were invited, when he noticed how they chose the place, places of honor, saying to them, <clears throat> When you are invited by someone to a wedding feast, do not sit down in a place of honor, lest someone more distinguished than you be invited by him, and he who invited you both will come and say to you, Give your place to this person, and then you will begin with shame to take the lowest place. But when you are invited, go and sit in the lowest place, so that when your host comes, he might say to you, Friend, move up higher. Then you will be honored in the presence of all who sit at the table with you. For everyone who exalts himself will be humbled, and he who humbles himself will be exalted. He, also, he said also to the man who had invited him, When you give a dinner or a banquet, do not invite your friends or your brothers or your relatives or rich neighbors, lest they also invite you in return and you be repaid. But when you give a feast, invite the poor, the crippled, the lame, and the blind, and you will be blessed because they cannot repay you, for you will be repaid at the resurrection of the just. When one of those who reclined at table with him heard these things, he said to him, Blessed is everyone who will eat bread in the kingdom of God. But he said to him, A man once gave a great banquet and invited many, and at the time for the banquet he sent for his servant. He sent his servant to say to those who had been invited, Come, for everything is ready now. But they all alike began to make excuses. The first said to him, I have bought a field, and I must go out to see it. Please have me excused. And another said, I have bought five yoke of oxen, and I go to examine them. Please have me excused. And another said, I have married a wife, and therefore I cannot come. So the servant came and reported these things to his master. Then the master of the house became angry and said to the servant, Go out quickly to the streets and lanes of the city and bring in the poor and the crippled and the blind and lame. And the servant said, Sir, what you command, what you commanded has been done, and still there is room. And the master said to the servant, Go out to the highways and hedges and compel people to come in, that my house may be filled. For I tell you, none of these men who are invited shall taste my banquet. Now great crowds accompanied him, and he turned to them and said, And he turned and said to them, if anyone comes to me and does not hate his own father and mother and wife and children and brothers and sisters, yes, and even his own life, he cannot be my disciple. Whoever does not bear his own cross and comes out and come after me cannot be my disciple. For which of you, desiring to build a tower, does not first sit down and count the cost, whether he has enough to complete it? Otherwise, when he has laid the foundation and is not yet ab and is not able to finish, all who see it begin to mock him, saying, This man began to build and was not able to finish. Or what king, going out to encounter another king in war, will not sit down first and deliberate whether he is able with ten thousand men to meet him who comes after him with twenty thousand? And if not, while the other is yet a great way off, he sends a delegation and asks for terms of peace. So therefore, any one of you who does not renounce all he has cannot be my disciple. Salt is good, but if salt has lost its taste, how shall its saltiness be restored? It is of no use either for the soil or for the manure pile. It is thrown away. He who has ears to hear it, let him hear. Psalm 87 A Psalm of the Sons of Korah, a song. On the holy mount stands, stands the city he founded. The Lord loves the gates of Zion more than all the dwelling places of Jacob. Glorious things of you are spoken, O city of God. Among those who know me I mention Rahab and Babylon. Behold, Philistia and Tyre with Cush. This one was born there, they say, and of Zion it shall be said. This one and that one were born in her, for the Most High himself will establish her. The Lord records her, the Lord records as he registers the peoples. This one was born there. Singers and dancers alike say, All my springs are in you. Proverbs 13.12 says, Hope deferred makes the heart sick, but a desire fulfilled is a tree of life. Cool. Great reading for this Easter Sunday. Tomorrow's Monday, April 5th. 2021, and we will be reading Deuteronomy 11 and 12, Luke 15, Psalm 88, 
in Proverbs 13, 13 through 14. Looking forward to that. Thanks for listening tonight. Hope you're continuing your reading, and I hope it's been a blessing to you, as I know it will be. Have a great night.